All right, today we're gonna do an install of the Cross Armory Pin Pal, as well as an install of the Cross Armory Flop Stop. Now, uh, to introduce the Pin Pal, the Pin Pal is an oil-infused bearing that is on a custom-made front takedown pin, which goes right here. And it replaces that takedown pin so that now when you're opening and closing your uh, rifle for California reloads, it's bearing on this and not wearing out your upper receiver. Uh, it unscrews, and there's a nice little press fit bearing. You're gonna press fit this bearing into the upper receiver. We're gonna go through that in a second, and then you're gonna lock it in with the nut. Now, the uh, flop stop utilizes this same pin pal, but we also have an ordnance steel arm here, as well as a uh, custom-made front pivot blocker piece. Now, how that works, is you just unscrew this nylock nut, which is gonna fix it in place. You slide this little guy on here, and then we're gonna tighten him on. And then uh, we're gonna use this, and we are going to attach it to the pin pal. So when it's all said and done, it'll look something like this attached on your gun, and this will stop it from opening up too much. So let's get going with the install. First things first, you've got a built gun, you need to take out your front takedown pin. Uh, there's a little trick I like to use, and it goes like this. You press from the other side, you pull it out partially, then you take some sort of clip or hook or a little metal thing, whatever you've got that'll fit in the slot of your front takedown pin to hold back the detent. Now, and you hold it back and then rotate. That'll hold the detent pin back. Now you can pull this out. When you pull it out, keep a finger over here so that detent doesn't just fly off on you. All right, tried to fly off, caught it. So you can set this aside, discard it, save it for when you move to a free state, whatever. Go ahead and remove the detent pin. Now sometimes the spring is a little short, doesn't always pop out. You can go in this hole right here and you can just walk it out just like that. And now you can get that sucker out of there. There we go. All right, now we're gonna separate the upper and lowers. Pretty easy if you got the quick pins. And now we're ready to press fit the press fit bearing, which is the first step. So this press fit bearing here, we are going to press fit it into the front hole of the upper receiver. The way you do that is you slide the bearing onto the pin you wanna make sure it's on this pin, then align it with the hole. Go ahead and grab yourself a socket of some sort or anything to kind of bear on this so you're not just whacking on it. So that kind of holds it nice and tight and it's got a space for this to fall into. Now what you're gonna do is just take a hammer, just give it a few taps, make sure it's still straight. Then you just go ahead and keep going. Now the trick is you want to tap it in enough so that the reveal of the bushing on either side, which is how much you can see here and how much you can see here, is about equal. So we're looking pretty good here. Go ahead and remove the pin. You can set this aside, you won't need that anymore. And now we can align the upper and lower. This is a brand new build, we've only test fired it and it shot great. I do recommend uh, building your own guns. It's a lot of fun. Great way to get really involved in the sport. And there we go, pretty good. Now they're lined up, so you drop the pin in. So the pin's gonna pass through. It's gonna go through the press fit bearing. Might take a little, little wobble in here and there to get it lined up just right. And there we go. Now, looking at the other side, we've got these, uh, threaded end sticking out. And if you've got the flop stop, now is the time to grab your flop stop and you're gonna wanna get it and you're gonna wanna put this piece on there and then tighten up the uh, nylock screw here. I got one already good to go, so we're just gonna keep the movie magic happening. So you wanna line this first, just where you want it. Somewhere, somewhere in this department, right? 
That's looking pretty good. Now you want to get your nut and slide it through there, start threading it on. As you thread it on, it's going to move through everything and it's going to be nice and tight. So you want to just finger tight this because uh, if you ever need to take the front takedown pin off, it's nice knurled in, you can unscrew it with your fingers. So flipping it over one more time, get this aligned where you like it, then you can go ahead and take a socket. This is a uh, 10 mil and you just tighten it up a little bit. This one's already been tightened, but you get the idea. So now you've got your pin pal installed and you have your flop stop installed. So when you go to do a California reload and you need to mess around in here, it'll keep it open. Now this particular forward receiver, it's a little thin, but it still keeps it nice and open, real easy for simple, clean reloads.